Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. We're going to do a love and separation reading. Okay, I'm going to pull from my love deck, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and see what's on your person's mind while in separation, okay? Maybe this is on your mind too, so uh, this is just going to be a collective reading for uh, love in separation. So take what messages resonate for you and leave what doesn't, because they will not be everyone's situation or everyone's story here, Okay. So um, we're going to find out the truth, what they're hiding, okay? I pull some of these love cards, and then I'm going to pull you some characteristics of your person, okay? Now, this may describe yourself, okay? So just take what resonates from, from that and leave what does not. If the, the Twin Flame card or the Soulmate card comes out, I will pull from my uh, Karmic deck, deck to uh, clarify that for you, okay? So uh, let's get started and see what comes out for the collective. What's on this person's mind? What do they want to say? That's quite a bit. I'm not going to take all those. Okay. This person is saying, I'm hurt, so I hurt others. Okay. Now, this could be you. could be just your uh, love situation. Maybe there was hurt on both sides here. So uh, take that as it resonates for you with this color yellow here. Maybe one's happy and one's not. Okay, I've got cards falling. We have May coming out. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini or you can have this in your chart. Something happened in May. Something may happen this coming May. Vibes are about changes. We also have Taurus energy coming out. So it could be a Taurus or you could be dealing with a Taurus here. There could be something around money. In your relationship, there was a money situation. Maybe that's what caused the breakup or the separation. Uh, it hurts not seeing you, so this person is saying that they're missing you. And obviously the separation is, you know, getting to them emotionally, maybe physically here. A couple more shuffles and see if anything comes out. Oh, we downstairs. Something happened downstairs, somebody staying downstairs, living downstairs maybe. Um, you and your person, maybe you were in an apartment downstairs. It says, I look at your pictures in social media. So this person is saying that they're watching you any way that they can right now because they're missing you. It hurts not seeing you. They're hurt, so they hurt other people. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck first. Okay. <laughs> We have releasing old patterns and behaviors, okay? So, okay, maybe there was some trauma here, some childhood trauma that um, needed to be dealt with, or just uh, old patterns that they never did, they never were able to overcome. Hmm. I don't know what's in your situation. I know what patterns, but um, where they were, they may have been generational patterns, okay? Take it as it resonates. All right, you make my heart melt. That's what this person is saying. That's sweet. All right, we have December. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Capricorn energy maybe, okay? Or your person could be something happened in December. May again here, Taurus and May. Heavy Taurus and um, someone's chart. We have bondage coming out. Someone is stuck right now. That, that could possibly be it. They're stuck and they're unable to move. There could be a travel issue here. There could be also, um, if it's related to these old patterns, it could be related to something uh, sexual or sexuality. And that could be um, a family generational thing. Okay. So just uh, take that as it resonates for you. Feeling stuck though. I feel like they're bonded. They're stuck. They can't move. I can't help myself. I have impure thoughts about you all the time. Like I said, maybe this is like a, um, a sexual addiction, okay? Um, that bondage here and releasing the patterns, I'm just heavily picking it up as it was like a family pattern. All right, we have, I'm struggling right now. This person is struggling. We have June, so maybe something happened in June. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be a cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. I just saw 444 on uh, the timer there, so that could be significant for you also. Also, number 666, I just said cancer, and here comes cancer. So I can't make this stuff up. Let's see. 
We have unable to meet your needs. This person is saying that they are not able to meet your needs or at the time you were together, they were unable to meet your needs, okay? Maybe on both sides, you'll know your situation. We have April coming out. I just said 444. April's the fourth month. So you also could be dealing with an Aries. There's a lot of uh, energy, a lot of energies coming out here now. Cancer, Taurus, December, April, and May. Okay, March. Here's another month. I don't know what's going on with these months now, but we're I mean, into Pisces now. Okay, so... Um, yeah, okay, a lot of, maybe there's a, a lot of emotions here going on, okay, someone feeling like they're in a whirlwind right now because they are struggling. It says, all I know is selfishness and petty. That's what this person is saying. I mean, maybe that has something to do with their old patterns and behaviors. So you can see I'm just kind of flipping the deck here to see what spirit wants me to bring out. Can you see things from my point of view? Um, so there, this person is asking you to, you know, take a step back, put yourself in their shoes, to see where they're coming from, okay? We have overthinking a situation. If I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry. I'm trying to um, slow down here a little bit, but um, someone is overthinking, someone's up in their head. Maybe like storytelling, like the never ending story, okay? We have warning signs coming out, so pay attention to red flags. If uh, I don't know if this past person is coming back or um, an X here, or if it's just that you are in separation and things are kind of dangling in the balance, it's just say, pay attention to the warnings. It says, you are my wish come true. All right, and we have you give me purpose. We all have to find our own purpose here. We have dealing with the devil. So somebody out there dealing with the devil, you could have been dealing with the devil. You could be the devil. I don't know. I mean, this person could have been dealing with the devil. So um, take it as it resonates. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just a lot of toxicity and a lot of negativity around, around your person right now, okay? We have so many things remind me of you. So they are reminiscing. They're looking at your social media, your photos here. We have old flame past relationship. This could be your old flame past relationship. This could be your person's old flame or past relationship. Okay. So take that as it resonates. We have, I'm sorry that I hurt you, even though this person is hurt. So they hurt other people. Now they're apologizing and saying that they're sorry that they hurt you. I don't know if they've reached out to express this to you or not collective. You will know we have second chance. So yeah, this person is most likely coming back to ask for a second chance or wondering if there is an open or closed door for that second chance. We have, I'm ready to fight for this relationship and for us. So um, I don't, and we all have free will here. You use your discernment. If you want a past person to come back, if you don't want a past person to come back. All right, let's see trap you with the baby okay so warning be careful this person may want to trap you with the baby to be able to have that connection to you we have you are the only one for me i don't want to be with anyone else okay and i don't know if there was a third party an old flame here um or someone that came in between your relationship that caused this separation but this person is saying that there's no other options for them okay we have karma. Karma is biting me hard. So they may be going through karma at this time. It may have to do with an old flame past relationship. It could have something to be entrapped with a baby. It could have something to do with old patterns and behaviors and dealing with the devil or um, toxic patterns and toxic relationships. I don't know. I mean, everybody's going to be different. We have, I love you more than you will ever know. This person is saying that they do have love for you. We have my entire world change when I met you. Obviously, their world is turned upside down right now. And I, I do, uh, as I put this out here for you, for advice, do not get involved right now, especially if this person is going through karma, so you don't collect any of their karma, okay? So I love you and I care about you, okay? We have romance. So there's romance in the air. And we have respect my space. Collective, you're saying respect my space. I want to take you out, so let's go on a date. This person is wanting to go on the date. It's like they live in a fantasy land. We got drama queen. So they must be dealing with a drama queen. They also could be dealing with legal issues here. And that's a possibility. Not going to be for everyone. They're saying that our souls are connected. They're saying that you guys are meant to be here. Or they feel like um, you are soulmates or you are... Um, 
to be united, okay? 10, uh, 10 one on the clock, so we have my place or your place. This person is coming in for passion, just to make you aware of that. That's their intention. They want to know, my place or your place? Let's go on a date. Let's make a time to get together, okay? I'm coming back to mark my territory here. This person feels like you're a possession, like they own you. They have ownership over you. So just be aware of that. I don't know if that's what occurred while you were with this person, okay? Or just since the separation has occurred. I just want to hold you. That's what this person says. And third-party situation. I just want to hold you, third-party situation. So... That's a lot there. All right, let's see what they're hiding. I want to know what they're hiding. What this person is hiding. All right, let's put this up. What's this person hiding? What this person want to tell you that they're not telling you if you have not heard because this is a separation, lover separation read for collective. So just take the messages as they resonate for you and your situation and leave what does not. Okay. I feel you, even though we are apart, this person is saying that they feel you energetically, even though you're not together physically. I do not react whenever people mention you. So obviously other people are asking about you to your person and they're not having any type of reaction to that. They're not even responding to um, or answering them. Well, have I wished that I treated you better? So this person is obviously having some regrets or some remorse for their actions here. They're saying that they should have uh, seen what they had while they had it, right? Okay. What else would this person want to say? I left you before you could leave me. So yeah, this person has abandonment issues. I wish things could be different, okay? So depending on your situation, I don't know what went on. They wish that they could go back and change things and things could be a different way, okay? Maybe it's do-over, maybe a second chance. Uh, they're also saying they're becoming a better person here. They're trying to work on their self. They were trying to work on um, if there was any type of addictions or toxicity or removing negativity. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to mature a little bit here. So um, take that as it resonates for you. Now, this could be on your side also. Okay, what else would this person like to say? All right, we have finding the truth, finding out the truth crushed me. So this person may have just found out the truth, okay? Maybe you're just finding out the truth, okay? And you're feeling a little crushed right now. All right, we have, I can't stop thinking about you. This person says that you're constantly on their mind. They feel like you are uh, meant to be, they're meant to be with you. They're, you're in their head, in their head, constantly in their head. All right, have I hope that you can forgive me one day, okay? So possibly this person not, person has not reached out to you to apologize. They're saying, I hope you can forgive me one day, whether they come forward or not. I don't know. It's divine timing. It depends on your situation. It depends on the person, okay? If they're able to come forward, if they can face you to come forward to talk to you and to give you that apology, we have so many things remind me of you. Yeah, because they're uh, researching you on social media and they may have text messages. They may have photos of you. Okay, so they may be seeing signs and synchronicities here. Hearing songs, hearing your name. Other people are mentioning where is so-and-so and they're not even reacting to that. Okay, so we have... I, I want to be more than friends. Okay, maybe you will be friends with this person. Maybe you are friends. Maybe you uh, were friends before you got into a relationship here. Okay, but this person is asking for more. They're expecting more from you. Maybe you want to be more than friends. All right. Let's get a couple more. What would this person want to say? What's the truth that they can't tell us? We have, uh, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So this person is saying that they had a difficult time either pulling away from you or, uh, or breaking off the connection here, depending on what your situation was. It's been hard for them to let go. They're still energetically uh, feel you and they can't stop thinking of you and they do 
want your forgiveness here. And they're feeling pretty bad at this time. Okay. And we have, I love you unconditionally. Unconditionally, so that's what this person is saying that they love you unconditionally. You don't know how much that they love you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Maybe they just didn't know. Maybe this uh, person had problems in relationships with patterns, old patterns and behaviors. So maybe they're they they never understood what a healthy connection was and how to nurture that. Okay. Any more from this person? What does this person want to say that they cannot say to the collective? What does this person want to say that they can't say to the collective? You and I were too young. Okay, maybe there was a little immaturities there. Whether it was on your person's side, it was on your side, it was on both your side. Okay, you'll know your situation. I am afraid to contact you. This person has a lot of fear, obviously, around abandonment. There's uh, severe abandonment issues here, possibly related back to childhood, maybe from generations, those generational patterns. They're afraid of your reaction, what you will think of them, your character, okay? I don't know what, um, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe you thought it was just a... Um, a sexual connection here. You just had that chemistry. I wish I could share my good news with you. So this person is wanting to share good news with you and they hide behind material things. Okay. Very, uh, 3d. Okay. We have a lost myself for a little while. That's what this person wants to say. So they want to feel that way again. And you were the best thing in their life collective. So just so you know, if this is the hidden truth of what they want to tell you, uh, if this person could tell you and they have not, Let's get some characteristics and see uh, what is this person look like or tell me a little bit about them. Now, some of these characteristics may be yours, collective. We have fetish. So this person, their bondage came out. So this person may have some type of fetish. Now, it could be a foot fetish. It could be anything, okay? So uh, take that as it resonates for you. Maybe you have a fetish. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, we have green eyes. So you could have green eyes. This person could have green eyes. Cuddler. This person's a cuddler. You're a cuddler. Like I said, it could be you or it could be your person. Now I'm focusing on your person. Now saying that they're a cuddler, they uh, have a fetish here, and possibly they have green eyes. Oh, we have in there flirty. Now you may be flirty too. All right, and... Where's their heart on their sleeve? Maybe that's why they're so cuddly. Maybe that's why they got these uh, lovely green mesmerizing eyes. They want to do a little fetishing. So, <laughs> uh, okay, kind of flirty. Getting, getting flirty here. This person's getting flirty now. All right. Let's see. All right, this person is average height. Okay, you may be average height. And we have a mechanic and a car lover, someone that's interested in uh, working with tools also. And this person is an animal lover, okay? Now, you may be a mechanic or a car lover also, okay? Or maybe into racing, I heard. And you may be an animal lover, so take that as it resonates for you. Okay, let's give it some more information. So I love playing with this deck. It, um, it makes me feel all giddy. I don't know. <laughs> Piercings. Okay, this person may have piercings. You may have piercings also. Um, workaholic. All right. So we got a workaholic down here now. You may a workaholic right now. This person is a workaholic for sure. I'm picking up that fiery, passionate energy, that go-getter energy off of these cards here. Now, I don't know if this is the same person. This could be a new person coming in for you. If none of these um, cards are matching the personality or traits, from the person that you were dealing with from the past, okay, or from a past relationship, either whether it's an ex or not, okay, this could be a new person. So we have faithful coming out here, and we have sneaky, so this person could be a little sneaky. You may be faithful also, you maybe you're a little sneaky, or maybe they think you're a little sneaky, I don't know. <laughs> little sneaky link, I don't know. Hopefully not a flingy. <laughs> 
I, maybe for some of you, you like that. I don't know. We have kissing and long hair. So this person may have long hair. You may have long hair and the kissing, a lot of kissing, okay? You may like to kiss. This person may love to kiss, obviously. This person wants to get down and dirty. Okay. Couple more. And tell me anything else about this person. And we have a journal. So this person may be a writer, okay, or just likes the journal. I mean, they could just like to read or like to be um, in the library. They are very knowledgeable, okay. They like to learn new things. So um, they could be a journalist, okay, or write for a newspaper also, write articles. So just take that as it resonates. We have an introvert, so this person is uh, very to themselves. They don't like a whole lot of people. They don't socialize with a big group. Now, it could be you. Maybe you're a little introverted, too. Collective here. That's way too many. We got too money. Oh, okay, maybe there's too much money there. I don't know. We have moves fast. This person may like to move really fast, not take things slow. They might want to take action really quick. Uh, pay attention to details, okay? So pay, you pay attention to the details here. This person may pay attention to the details. See, I'm already getting excited. We have nature and outdoors. So you may like the being out in nature or just like being outside. Maybe you like to do sports, sporting events outside. Okay. Or um, this person could also volunteer outside, I'm hearing. Do a lot with animals. Maybe there's something with the zoo. Okay, we have weird and nerdy, so this person's weird and nerdy, or you could be weird and nerdy, or they're just a little weird and nerdiness between the both of you. We have cartoons, so this person could actually draw cartoons, I'm hearing. They could be a very good artist, or they just said like the weird and nerdy, and they just like to watch cartoons and like, like anime, okay? We have full lips, so this person may have full lips. You may have full lips. We have pillow talk. So this person may like that at night when you're in bed, kind of uh, just sitting there and kind of enjoying each other and wanting to have those uh, little intimate conversations together. Okay, this person could be a heartbreaker. You could be a heartbreaker. Maybe they're just very uh, good looking or very attractive. Okay, they have a lot of uh, suitors, a lot of options here. That could be a possibility. And we have glasses, so this person could wear glasses or you could wear glasses. And we have charming here. This could be a prince charming, a princess charming. Very charming, very uh, very uh, lucrative, I'm hearing. So uh, this person wants to spoil you. And we have messy. So maybe you could be a little bit messy. This person could have tend to be messy, but we have public display of affection. So um, maybe they want to get messy in the freaky way. So take that as it resonates too. They do want like kisses and a lot of uh, cuddles and affection here. So they're willing to uh, do the public display of affection, the pictures, videos, anything, okay, to, to put it out there onto social media or whatever, okay. So um, yeah, they like that attention. They like uh, everybody seeing you together. All right, and we have shoppers. So this person could be a shopper, like to shop, like to spend money. I did say money earlier, so maybe this person has money. I I don't know, Collective. It's going to be great, though, so get excited. We have long eyelashes, so this person could have long eyelash, eyelashes. You could have a long eyelashes. We have music and concerts. Could be a musician. Could be a, um, someone in the orchestra. It doesn't have to be. Um, this person could just enjoy going to concerts. Maybe you both enjoy going together. Or you will enjoy going together. And uh, music is ther therapeutic. So I feel like that's a therapy here for this person. So I don't know if it's your person. You may know that. If it's a new person coming in, you're not knowing it. You're finding out some of these characteristics now. We have pretty eyes. So we have green eyes, pretty eyes. So, um... They're very hypnotizing, I hear. Mesmerizing, hypnotize. Oh, what my eyes have found. I what my eyes have seen. Who sings that? Natalie Merchant? Yeah. Early riser. Mm. 
you have to get up early with this one because they get up for the butt crack of dawn. Maybe they uh, work out or something. I don't know. But they get up really early to start their day and they're a workaholic, okay? So if you're not an early riser, be prepared. This person is an early riser. Okay, and we have goal-oriented. Yes, they are. When they set their mind on something, they go for it until they get it, okay? We have a collector and hobby. So, yeah, this person can collect cars. You know, they uh, they are, a mechanic came out here, okay? So they could end up collecting model cars. That's for some. They could collect cartoons, little cartoon characters. In some way, they collect something. They could also just collect journals, okay? Different books, okay? Especially if they're learning something, they're very knowledgeable um, in the literature, uh, things like that, grammar, wanting to learn more, okay? Now they could also have books about uh, cartoons and animations and they, it could be comic books for all I know. So take it as it resonates for you. They like to collect. Depending on what they collect to collect, I don't know. If they're a collector of hobbies, maybe hobbies are women, maybe hobbies are men. And that's what they like to collect. So take it as it resonates. <laughs> it could be any dang thing, right? Give me a couple more and then we'll end this here. Funny and humorous, okay? So you may be funny and very humorous. This person is very funny and very humorous. They're humus. Maybe they like hummus or humus. Is I don't even know how to pronounce that. So maybe they like that. Maybe they're into like certain types of foods. Maybe a, a vegan or a vegetarian. Uh, they're both different. So um, nice chest. Maybe you have a nice chest. This person has a nice chest. Let's see. A couple more and we'll be done. I've been on here for almost a half an hour. Okay. Uh, practice self-care. So this person may practice self-care. You practice self-care. Been working on that here. This person likes surprises or you like surprises, or they're going to surprise you. And we have beautiful and handsome. Yeah, I said they're very good looking, very beautiful here. Um, they may be out in the public already, in the public eye. This may, may be someone very popular. I don't know. We have a talker. You could be a talker. This person could be a talker. I mean, they're very introverted. Maybe they only talk with certain people in their group. They're very talkative. Uh, once they get to know you, once they open up, they've got a little shyness to them, okay? Structure, routine. They're very structured, very routine. Like to stick things, um, like to be very goal-oriented, okay? So um, an, an early riser. And they're very patient. So they're willing to uh, to wait, you know? They, even though they want to hurry and rush things, they're willing to wait. They may be a parent, Okay, you may be a parent, and we have bad habits here on the bottom, so there may be some bad habits, but it could have something to do with the fetishes. Also, uh, take that as it resonates, and they're confident. They're very confident in themselves. They like to dance, too. I don't know what kind of dance, but they do like to dance. They like to get out there, and they like to have a good time when they can once their work is completed, okay? So we have Netflix and chill, so you might want to Netflix and chill sometimes. Yeehaw. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, these love uh, and separation messages and they helped you get a little bit of closure or what you need to know. I figured I would do this uh, wonderful thing here for you, collective for Valentine's Day that's coming up. So this is a, a timeless read. So it could be happening and now. It could have already happened. Okay, it could be happening in the near future. So just take what you need out of those messages and leave the rest, okay? So you have a wonderful evening. Take care. A lot of love and light.